Good morning, everybody. It is day two of Hot Rod Drag Week, and we are in Indianapolis, Indiana, baby. Let's go. It's obviously you can see it's morning, it's dark. I really wish I put a towel on my window last night. The dew that set in is pretty serious. I bought a drying towel from Advanced Auto and it's trash. Um, what else? We went to the Super Walmart last night. Got me my favorite, you probably can't even see it. My favorite snack in the world, from Gushers. I bought a new flag. All weather, fade resistant dye. And it says, I don't know, it says the nylon is supposed to be better. So we'll see about that. Uh, day two of me not being able to find my little tripod for this thing. <laughs> God only knows where the hell that thing ended up. But. I'm gonna get, it's like 6 a.m. Trying to leave the hotel by six, by closer to seven. We're like 25 minutes from the track. Um, I'm trying to find my key here. I'm exhausted. We didn't go to bed till like after midnight last night. <sighs> I was up throughout the night. You know, slept on the first floor with uh, Oh no, I did leave a battery on. <laughs> That's all right. That's why I have spares. That's why we have spares. Hold on, changing batteries. There we go. Much better, right? I have to move this Milwaukee battery mount up higher because it hits like right the bottom of the battery, say like right there on the tire. So we need to do some adjusting. I'm looking for my car detailing bag, which I don't know where it is. Well, that feels like the impact gun. It probably ended up over here. Yep. Yeah, we were very nose heavy. That's why this thing is. I noticed last night the car is sitting kind of low, and I'm like, what, what the f is going on there in the back? Um, and I just noticed that we are we are very, very front nose heavy on this trailer. All the fuel's up there, toolbox is up there, everything's up there. So that ain't gonna work that way. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, all this dew setting in here. Clean the sides, we ran through. We were doing the run yesterday. We were down like, I, I don't know, all these plants. And I don't know, it's, it's like stone dust. I don't know, it's all stuck up under the car though. One thing I can't stand is how freaking dirty this place gets. This car gets. I'm gonna clean this up and get ready to go.
caution because we got here late. They're already running our class group. Um, got the tires on, fuel turned over. David's messing with the IAC and taking some power out because there's way, way better today. But uh, I lost park this morning. Uh, we got to the gas station, went to go put it in park and there was nothing, it was completely gone. Everything else works and it's just clicking in the gear. So I'm gonna jack it up and check to see if the uh, thing works fine in all the other gears. Um, like the shifter cable is not out of adjustment. I don't know. Talk to uh, the shit out of me. He said, just check to see if it's in first, second, and third, and deal with it later. All right, Dave. Yeah. Put it in first. Is it in park right now? Yeah. It's in park. All right, hold on. Put it in first. Oh, shit. That's first? That's first. Oh, wow. We're way out. Way out, huh? Go back to park. Park. All right, go back to first. First. Oh, I don't know what happened, but now it's fine. Go to second. Second. Fine, go to third. Third. All right, it's a little tight in third, but not nothing concerning. Uh, hold on. All right, throw it in park. So something had to come loose in, inside the pan, but we'll uh, we'll uh, do it, deal with it at the hotel tonight. We'll drop the pan on it and uh, see what the hell happened. Maybe it just maybe it's two bolts just holding the unit loosened up. That's what that's what Anthony said. That's what it sounds like. Because <laughs> right, so what happens is when you get this thing set, it locks up and in. I'll see. Woo. That fucking left me out there. Fucker. I don't know if we did that shit on purpose. I don't like being hung out though. Dave is on it today. 852. We going home with that one, boys. No time. A lot of fuel out of that thing on the first 300 feet, though. Like it was black. Yeah, and it's clean. I mean, it's clean. It's perfect. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's up with it, Yeah, I was like, I, I was like, wow, that's a lot of fuel. But uh, yeah, they didn't give you a time on the board. No, so we are uh, one and done today. That's a beautiful thing. We still got work on the tune. She's idling stupid high and wants to stall, but. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't be happier with an 852. Woo! I was worried. I was getting nervous. So I think we're in a five second average now. But I was worried. I was worried about the air. But Dave, Dave showed out. Took two pounds out of it. And the thing, but I 
couldn't have been any happier. If it went a five anything, I was gonna be happy. So a 52, I'm ecstatic. Let's uh, find my sunglasses because I'm blind. Go to the scales. Um, get the slip right now. Let's see what the full slip reads. Thank you, ma'am. I met your husband last night at Advanced Auto Parts. <laughs> I don't know where the skip. Over here. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I had a bunch of stuff in it yesterday. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, so we got five gallons of fuel in it, and we're back up to the same weight where we were yesterday. Oh, 137, 360, 553, 131, 71, 852, 163. That is going to the tower, my friends. What happened? You all right? I broke the final drive. Ah, so, what's it, PPG? Yeah, it's a PPG, but it's a stock final. I broke oh. the final side. B series? I'm gonna get my slip, it's a K. I'm gonna go get my slip and see if I can get a tug back so I can fix the trans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you need a tug, just freaking holler uh, and I'll pull you with this. I got yeah. a tow hitch, so yeah, I don't I have, have a strap. I have straps in my trailer. All right, yeah. Uh, so I'll walk over then yep. and find you. Thank yep, you. grab me, no problem. Yeah, so this guy broke his final. Like, I think it's the only Honda powered Honda here. Broke the final drive in his K series car. So I'll give him a tow back. Um, it sucks breaking on a track and having you don't have your truck, you don't have your trailer. You know, I don't know if he's got a crew, but he's gonna go hand in his time slip and and then come find me. So we'll help him back. But how awesome is this place? celebrate for a little bit and cool down and relax because that was the most rushed I've ever been. <laughs> Tank's frozen. Not frozen, but it's wet. I actually put a towel there to prevent anything from uh, leaking out the car. But, um, don't need that now. So, we're changing. We're swapping over right now. I'll cut, get back up when I went around the road to Indy. Uh, Byron. See you in Byron. Alright, I don't know if you guys can hear me. We just stopped at the first checkpoint. Motor Trend, freaking lazy on this route, man. This is such beautiful countryside out here, and they have us on the highway for 160 miles. It's pure laziness. The first checkpoint was a goddamn beef restaurant. Like, what? What? It was just lazy, that's all it was. Got off the highways, went right to the checkpoint, got right back on. But the gas station across the street had a Dunkin' in it, so we got some coffee. Now we got 100 miles on the highway. I'm not gonna even bother to put footage on it. So I'm gonna try to stay awake from boredom. Uh, hopefully uh, we hit some better roads when we get closer out there. All right, we're in Illinois and we found the windmill farm. I don't know if you guys can see them in the distance. We drove through those last year, and my God, they went on for miles and miles and miles. It was, it was pretty wild to see those things just all out there. Pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Redemption ever came 
I stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know only fools dread with the angels Fear to go, but you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment cause you just don't know But some things never change, never change Oh Now, I know we didn't get too much updating today because we're on the highway for freaking two thirds of the the ride. It sucked, but we got to, I got some, I'm going to put in some, I might have a little video of the storm. I'm going to put in video of the storm that we beat here literally by five minutes. We got out, got our luggage out, and um, <laughs> made it inside in five minutes. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at it, Dave. It's blowing. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, it's like a hurricane out there. No, I'm dead serious. Come look at these trees. Make sure you get the hail for the insurance. Oh, that took too long, Dave, but I got it on video. Justin's being shy of the video. <laughs> and um, we just made it inside, so we just came back outside, messed with the idle control more, checked fluids in it, drained the catch cans. Uh, Justin and Adam are local guys that I've been friends with for a while, so they come out and hang out. Checking out the car. This is... Uh, Justin's kryptonite right here. I bust his shit wide open. <laughs> but yeah, we're just hanging out, relaxing. I'm not really doing that. I'm gonna clean it. I gotta clean it. I haven't cleaned the wheels yet. And uh, then we're gonna go and get dinner. 34 inch one will we'll go like this. Yeah. You won't be able to see it in the window. Oh, having dinner. Had dinner, good delicious steak dinner, and uh, about to go inside and take a shower, hit the bed, and hit Byron in the morning. So tomorrow the run order has changed, and it's going to be C group first, then A and B, uh, just because it's cold and you know the big floppy tire guys or fast radio guys start crying about it. So whatever, good it means we have to have to wake up as early. So get in the garage, grab a cold drink, get to work on your hot rod. Have a good night, guys.